Welcome to the Palm Springs Power preview show. My name is Wes Williams of Rife Sports. He's a Palm Springs Power Manager, Casey Dill. Skip, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you. Well, we're brought to you by Assemblyman Chad Mays. Chad Mays has an optimistic vision for California. Go check out his message at www.chadmays.com. Well, we talked on the golf course about how the team is going to look a little bit different this year. Tell us how the power are going to look different. Well, based off of what I know, um, and, and again, we haven't seen a lot of the power players play yet. We, we know who they are based off of what their college coaches have told us and then mm -hmm. how they've done this year in college baseball. So by the looks of the thing, by the looks of things, um, how, our, how our guys have been playing this year is we got a lot of guys that are hitting for average. Mm -hmm. uh, not a lot of home runs, but a lot of stolen bases, a lot of speed, mm -hmm. and then a lot of good defense. Our entire infield is going to be made up of, of guys that start at shortstop at their university. So yeah. I think we're going to be a team that, that gets on base a lot we're going to be able to run and do things on the bases and we're going to play good defense so it's going to be completely different from last year where you get you know shilling on and then all of a sudden moda hits another moda ball and stuff so yeah i'm not ruling out the home run at all i just <laughs> uh you know i just just i'm not counting on it you know we, we put up power numbers last year that haven't been seen here in 15 mm -hmm. years and yeah. and so i can't count on that happening again um, if it happens again, great, and I do expect it to be able to hit some home runs this year. I'm just planning on, um, you know, not, not, I'm not counting on that happening. I'm counting on being able to play some small ball, manufacture runs, and play good defense behind our pitchers. And last year was such a historic season. What are some of the top things you remember about last year? Man, uh, we had some very good players on our bench. You know what I mean? We had guys on our bench that probably would have been starting uh, players for other teams in the league and probably could have plugged them into the starting lineup that, that, that we had. But, you know, what? we had nine guys, nine, ten guys that were swinging the bat hot, and it was hard for me to write a lineup every night last year. But um, when the same nine guys are getting the job done every night, I have no reason to change the lineup. I'll put the same nine guys out there if they're getting the job done. So um, what I remember most about last year is just, we had 25 guys that, whether they were playing or not, they were helping this team win. It was a very positive team chemistry, mm -hmm. very positive atmosphere in the clubhouse, in the dugout, mm -hmm. and you can't ask for anything more as a manager. Now you got some guys returning. Tell us about some of the returning players this year. Yeah, John Malden coming back for his third season, all times Palm Springs Power, single season and career doubles leader. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's known for some making, making some very exciting plays out on the baseball field. He's stolen home. He's mm -hmm. Throwing a couple runners out from center field at home plate. Um, just a guy that, you know, he starts the game with a clean jersey and he doesn't get to the end of the game without having dirt all over himself. Plays the yeah. game the right way. Just one of the most fun guys to watch that have been out here mm -hmm. the last couple of years. I know he's been a really big fan favorite. And mm -hmm. uh, Hayden Schilling, who was our shortstop mm -hmm. last year, played a very big role for us, playing good defense and then mm -hmm. um, hitting and getting on base for our, for our three, four, five guys. And he had a very big... Um, season at University of New Mexico this year. So those are two guys that, that really helped us a lot last year on offense and defense. And they're, te they're team leaders. They're guys that, go, guys that go about their business every day. So getting those two guys back are, are, are going to be very big for us, setting the tone early. So the season's starting in uh, only about a week. So how nervous are you this year? As can, now that you've got a championship under your belt, are you are, are you nervous at all anymore? No, nothing you just to be nervous about. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I wish the guys were here right now. I wish mm -hmm. we were playing tonight. I've already kind of switched myself into into season mode, and mm -hmm. and uh, I'm ready to compete. I'm ready to get the guys here and get them on a baseball field, and I'm ready to to try to repeat what we did last year. Yeah. So uh, what do you think? Do you think you guys will be able to beat your record last year? Is that going to be tough? Or do you say, hey, you know what? That's the goal. Beat last year. Well, as of right now, you know, the goal isn't to beat last year. The goal is to win a championship. And whether we, we go 40-0 and or we go 35-3 and or whatever we might be, we can have our ups and downs. I've managed teams that start off 0-5. And they come back and they win the championship. So no matter what happens at the beginning of the season, in the middle of the season, it's how we finish up. So we're taking a championship mentality into game one, and we try to win every pitch, every inning, every game. So if we execute and we do what we're supposed to do, winning and a championship is going to be a result. So there's there's no goal to beat what we did last year. The goal is to just to win in every moment that we can. Well, that's it for the Palm Springs Power Preview Show. I'm Wes Williams of Rife Sports. He's Palm Springs Power Manager Casey Dill. We look forward to seeing you out there at the stadium.